Hey guys, welcome to Tushar Vlogs. Uh, so I recently got the Ecri device to uh, recalibrate my speedo. So after putting 35s on, the transmission shift points were really messed up, especially on highways. City driving is fine, but on highways, uh, the performance is a lot more sluggish. So I recently uploaded the unboxing video of Ecri. If you are interested, you can see the video somewhere around here. So go through it and uh, yeah. Let's jump into the process and see how complicated and uh, what functionalities does ECRI has to offer. So basically there are two devices. One is the security bypass module and the other is the OBD2 port. And let me go ahead and show you guys uh, where to install these. So this is the OBD port 2 port uh, where this device will go but before that I need to remove these two wires okay so the wires the clips are very tight and it's pretty hard to remove them have a look yep so I ended up uh, removing the kick panel off it's pretty easy you can just pull it with the hands you don't need any special tool you just pull it and you're good to go and these are the uh, security bypass cables so basically so you have to press down on this thing this is a lock right you press down on this and then pull from this side and it comes down yeah finally managed to get them out let's plug in the uh, let's plug in the security bypass cables it's a pretty snug fit and basically they click right into the uh, bypass module now let's plug in the thing into the obd2 port okay and i can see there is a green light and a red light okay so that's the ecri device you can see the lights in one of them actually so let's go ahead and open the ecri app I hope uh, the camera is focusing so basically it's now I believe searching for the device it's researching now okay so so basically you can change the tire sizes axle ratio transfer case ratio speedometer tolerance you can adjust and then TPMF, TPMS threshold you can change for front rear, running light locations and then DRL voltage if you have older Jeeps you want to put uh, DRLs, uh, LEDs onto it you can do that, lockers, trailer tow, steering pump, sway bar, fogs off, hello headlights, I believe this is the option, LED fog lights led turn signals front led headlights led tail lights so i'm more interested in uh, i want to get rid of this i'm more interested in uh, there is an alert the driver should not be looking at the app while driving please have a pass passenger control the app i'm a passenger okay so let's take it for a quick spin now and see what does it say so data only collected are over 40 miles per hour so i believe i'll have to take it on an empty road so it's still showing 30.95 okay 
Okay, it started working now. So it says my tire height is 32 between 32.18 to 33.18. Uh, let's take it for another spin. It's changing. So basically, um, they mentioned it correctly. So data can be collected uh, over 40 miles per hour. So I was going slow there. Okay, so it seems uh, as per ECRI, my calculated tire size is somewhere between 32.94 and 33.14. So let's do one thing. Let's click on program vehicle. Park the, before continuing, park the vehicle, turn off the engine, then put in on position. Okay, press continue. The following changes will be made to your vehicle. Please confirm all new values are correct before proceeding. Basically, we are going from 30.95 to, let me save it, 30.95 to 33.04, confirm. So now it's saying it's done, turn the ignition off which I have and open a door to power down the modules then you may start the vehicle as normal. Finished, okay. So that was the process for uh, recalibrating your speedo. I do not know how accurate uh, this uh, GPS thing in ECRI is, but I'll take it for a test drive now and uh, let you guys know how the shift points, the transmission shift points are responding. So I have now downloaded this app. I want to see how is the uh, speedo performing after recalibration. So I did manage to check the speed and sorry my because of my camera I couldn't focus on the speedometer only the app and it's pretty close uh, I think and more important the shift points uh, which were earlier messed up the performance was really sluggish is perfect now so Jeep is back to normal yeah and surprisingly 35s are now 33s as per the ecri app and which is fine and i will again recheck it in uh, summer time because winter time and summer time um, the there is a difference right uh, in tires i will again uh, use the ecri app and recalibrate if required but so far so good i think the hardest part of this install was taking out those uh, security bypass wires they really are pain so I think a shortcut is go ahead and remove the kick panel. That's way more convenient. 
So do let me know if you want any other features of Ecri app to be tested. I'll go ahead and test them and make a short video for you. But yeah, that was it for this video. Stay tuned for another videos and do not forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.